Division is a little bit different for Visual Basic in the sense that with integers, there are three different things you can do. Doubles is pretty consistent. Let's first take a look at the symbols we're using. Over here to the left, you have the traditional forward slash, which you're used to with division. And that's the main one we use with doubles. Because remember, doubles have decimal point numbers. So we can just do traditional division with that. The backslash is used with integers. And we'll take a look why. And then mod actually stands for remainder. So if I go ahead and put that in here, mod is remainder, stands for the term modular. So real quick, let's just take a quick look at division working with doubles. So if I do that, let's just take the number 4.6 and divide it by 2. That gives us the answer 2.3. You are very used to that. It is the traditional way to do that. And we don't have to worry about the remainder or rounding. That's the key part there. However, with integers, we do have to worry about things like rounding and remaining numbers because we're going to use throughout the course of programming our different programs all the numbers in different ways which is why it's very important to understand how this works so the first thing we're going to work with is the forward slash which is what you're very used to seeing happen with division problems if we use the forward slash when dividing integers which visual basic tends to frown upon as far as the true definition of how integers work it will round up your answer. So for example, we'll go ahead and click here and it brings the text box way down there. So we'll try this again. There we go. If I am doing, we'll do 7 divide by 3. It's going to give me the answer of 2 here because it's rounding down. Because in reality, it's 2.33 which in reality here is going to equal 2. And that's fine. If I, however, change that to 8 divided by 3, it, it, the true answer is 2.66, but because I'm using the forward slash, it's going to round up to 3. So we want to be careful with that because we don't always want our integers to round up like that. I'm going to fix how this is formatted a little bit to give me a little bit more room. And there we go. This is kind of fun to watch too, right? Now the backslash sticks to the true definition of an integer by allowing us to round down no matter what. So if we do 7... And then the backslash of 3 equals 2.33, and it still gives us 2. If we have the number 8, and we divide by 3, this is now going to do what an integer should do, and let us keep that 2, because we're not up to another whole number yet, which is what we want to see happen. So when you're dividing integers, use the backslash and then mod means the remainder so if we do 7 mod 3 the remainder this goes back to elementary school now where before you learn decimal places you put the whole number off to the side 7 divided by 3 has a remainder of 1 and the math behind that I'll do it off to the side here is 6 divided by or 7 divided by, yeah, I hand the wrong key, that's why. 7 divided by 3 equals 2.33, but that 0.33, there's one whole number left over, so it's 2, remainder 1, 
so it equals 1. Let's do it again for 8. 8 mod 3 equals 2. So now if we spread that out a little bit, 8 divided by 3 is going to equal 2, remainder 2, so our mod is going to equal 2. It is possible if we do 9 mod 3 that it's going to equal 0 because 9 divided by 3 equals 3 remainder 0 so our mod is going to be equal to 0. So mod is going to be used oftentimes uh, and we're going to do a couple programs especially that focus just on why we use that because we want to leave numbers left over so we can continue to recalculate them and continue through that process. So one of the programs we're going to do to prove this is we're going to build a change calculator that converts money appropriately so we know the minimal amount of change we need to give a person. So, quick review here. The forward slash will round up for integers is what we always use to divide doubles. That's our traditional forward slash. If we're dividing integers to do what we want properly, we need to use the backslash so that our number always rounds down. And then we use mod to pull out the remaining information or whole numbers that are left over.